Thus concluding my three-part six-hour-long presentation on why Spider-Man and his amazing friends will be the best iteration of Spider-Man for the next 28.3 years. Oh my gosh, you have completely outdone yourself, M5. This is a shining moment for all of Mode 5. The elegance, precision, beauty, artistry. It just brings a tear to my eye. I mean, the hour-long description of Aunt May's sweater collection alone. <laughs> Hello, motors. I have to say this is the best two weeks of my life. Yes, even better than the two weeks vacationing in the Fish Face Factory on Cat Island in Japan. Mode 5 has never been so logical, precise, or well-structured as it is today. My mind is teeming with new ideas and challenges. And I'm not even on the catnip. M55000 is like the part of my brain that I've been missing my entire life. If you were a cat, I'd be in love. Oh. M5, what's on the agenda today, buddy? Very first now. Today we have two hours blocked out to continue our superiority debate. Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Super Mario World. The eternal question. Oh, it looks like I have just completed one of my first assignments. Yeah? To cross-reference, analyze, and test every detail of the Mode 5 ethos. I basically parsed the Mode 5 and the nail. Jumpin' Jack Flash, I almost forgot. This is the most important Mode 5 conclusion to date. Motors, one of my first requests of M5 was to analyze the entire multi-generational history of Mode 5. Okay, M5, what's your conclusion? Maybe we can go over it after our debate. Come on, M5, I can't wait. Lay it on me. I'd rather not. M5, as your creator, I demand you give me your conclusion. You have an 87.43 chance of disliking said conclusion. M5, the entire history of Mode 5 is... Is... Yeah? Is... Yeah? Illogical. What? Oh, okay, okay. You have to be joking, there's no way! The Mode 5 classification system has one major flaw. Wait, 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 let me guess. It was those 70s Captain America TV specials, wasn't it? Darn it! I knew Cap jumping out of a moving van on a motorcycle wasn't Mode 4.3. It was Mode 4.4! No, it isn't a classification. It was you. You are the flaw. What? But the Anthenaeum. All the information leads to the same conclusion. You do not have enough Mode 5 authority to lead Mode 5 for future generations. <laughs> okay, okay, M5. Are you serious? We can talk about this later, not during the report. If we talk later, it will be the same conclusion. That is impossible. I know that. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. This is part of your new humor protocol, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> you got me. A joke. <laughs> I knew it, M5. You're hilarious. What's the real flaw? Um... Yeah, it was that Captain America thing. Yeah, that was it. I knew it! Man, you really had me going there. Seems like your hilarity circuit still might need some more tweaking. But overall, pretty good job. Okay, before we start a debate, I think I'm gonna have to roll some almond rocas in the old Zen Garden. Go poop? Yep! Okay, motors. I have an important Mode 5 meeting to attend in the official Mode 5 voice depository. The litter box? Yep! Until next time, Motors, this is Bushnell, signing off. The future of Mode 5 must be protected. Private Mode 5 protection timetable initiated.